Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my other videos today we are going to chit chat and get ready with me uh, this is the first I've been on YouTube for a year and this is the first video that I do get ready with me I don't know why I never did that these kind of videos before but and not we are not only going to get ready get ready with me of course we are going to chit chat and I'm going to talk about the, about the products that I maybe bought or got in my glossy box that I tried now for a long time and they maybe did or did not work for me so there are a lot of products I have a couple of them today we'll see how you like this video if you do I'm going to continue doing this kind of videos but if you want to see what I have to say please keep on watching so I'm going to start with uh, moisturizing my face I didn't do that because I I want to talk about a little bit about the products I'm using. I'm going to use this Dream Serum Godico. I talked about this in my last video and I've used this for a month and a half, I think, a month now. And I really, really like it, but it's too expensive for me to order this to Sweden and uh, I'm sad about that. But I'll probably buy in the future. I have so much going on right now and uh, it's Monday when I film this and I don't work this week. Here in Sweden the children have a break, a fall break for a week at the end of the October, beginning of November every year they are free from school for a week and because I work as a teacher I'm free too so that's amazing <laughs> I really need to rest now I'm going to use uh, this ritual refresh eye lotion that I bought I think two months ago and I really enjoyed this product now I did notice that my wrinkles or fine lines called them what you want under my eyes are, they're not as visible uh, as they were before so I do enjoy it. Let me put this on so we can continue. I don't want my get my hair everywhere. The next product I'm going to use, where is it? Is this uh, Tom Bory Scandinavian Mood Deluxe Face Cream Day and Night Moisturizer that I also bought for maybe two, three months ago. I can't remember. I'm almost done with it. It's almost empty. I don't know if you can see it. This moisturizer is so nice smells beautiful it leaves my skin soft and it feels very good not going to order another right now it's because I have other products coming that I ordered and I think this moisturizer is amazing for my sc combo skin during the summer uh, I kind of like to switch uh, face products every season because I feel like my skin changes too with season so that's why I do that We'll see, but I probably buy this next summer because I love it. I really like it. Okay, now my skin is moisturized. I'm going to use this eyeshadow primer. This is Pro Base Eye Primer from MUA Makeup Academy. I think it's pronounced. I don't know. And I talked about this on my haul video and I do like it. Uh, today I'm going to use it because I'm not going anywhere today, so if my eyeshadow creases after a couple of hours that's okay I don't mind I'm doing some changes on my channel not changes with videos that I put every week I used to put new videos every every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday but right now I want to try to do every Monday Wednesday and Friday so I get Saturday and Sunday for filming so I think that will work better for my work schedule because sometimes I feel pressure when I have to put the video out on Sunday and I have a lot of things to do at work so I don't always have time to film but Saturday and Sundays work better so I can film a couple of videos and I think that will work much better for me. Well, I'll try. So from this week that you watch this I think it's probably Wednesday. It's my first week of putting videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday so we'll see how that works today I'm going to use this YSL all-hour primer that I really like 
I think it was June where I bought a background for my videos and I also ordered the I don't know what it's called but a thing that you hang the background on can't remember what that's called you know what I mean and that never came so ordered another and then when I, when I received it couple of I think it was last week I can't find my background anywhere me and my husband we, we turned house upside down and really we were looking everywhere can't find it it disappeared so I had to order new backgrounds and I'm waiting for them to come I want to kind of change a little bit I um, really like the background right now I really enjoy that but I just want to exp try a couple of others maybe use one when I do makeup looks another when I do like this kind of videos chit chat get ready get ready with me videos I want to try a couple of things so that's what's coming up on my channel if you're interested okay the one thing that I got for months ago in my glossy box is this X Estrebel lift peel uh, go made lift lift lip lift peeling I got this a long time ago in my glossy box and I it's like a peeling for my peeling for the lips and it does work but sometimes my lips are too dry and need something more rough if your lips are too dry you probably need something else I don't use it as much as I maybe should but uh, it's not bad but it's not my favorite and then I also got this for uh, also months ago in the glossy box this is the lip balm looks like a lipstick and I've used a lot of it, it smells very nice but here is my problem with this one wait okay I put this on my lips every night for a couple of weeks now and as you, as you can see it's so thick it does make my lips feel kind of um, softer in the morning but it's not the best lip balm that I've tried now I do, do want to use this up because it smells very nice and I love the packaging but it's really too thick and I feel like it doesn't really sink into the lips as much as I would like it so it's not the best so I'm definitely not going to purchase this myself I bought this last month Revolution Brow Pomade. I love this pomade. Now it is a little bit dry. I know if that's only my pomade. And I also got this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brow pencil or brush number 12. I don't know if I got this in glossy box or I bought it myself. I can't remember. And I just started using it because I just found it in my drawer. I sometimes put things away and think that I'm going to use it I need to try it and then I forget where they are and I found this one this is how I do I put I take some product on this brush and then I go like uh, this to warm the product up and uh, then I go into my eyebrows I'm almost a year on the YouTube can't really believe it I know how nervous I was the first months when I recorded and did videos I was so afraid and I talked very strange I was afraid uh, that you will judge me I know because I'm not sp speaking English perfectly I know I say many things wrong and maybe pronounce them wrong and grammar is not perfect so I was kind of scared what, what you guys are going to think think about me speaking English it is my third language and this is the only time when I have the chance to speak English I'm so happy that my subscribers are supporting me and uh, are very nice I found this that I got in my glossy box for a couple of months ago Talika lip lipo cells this is eyelash Conditioner, conditioning gel with liposomes I think it's pronounced and this is supposed to make uh, the eyelashes grow faster and I don't know 
something, do something for eyelashes. And I've been using this uh, for a month or two and I didn't notice big change. I did notice that I don't lose as many eyelashes as I did before. There are more eyelashes than I had before, but uh, not longer. So it did something good for my eyelashes, but would I buy it myself? Probably not. I feel like this video is going to be long. Guys, my subscribers that also make videos, when I watch your videos, you can trust that I watch the whole. But I'm very, very bad with leaving comments. I watch so many of your videos, guys. When you put the comment down below, I have a new video. I always remind myself that I, I did watch your video, but I don't put the comments. I don't know why I'm so bad because I, there are so many subscribers that I really like and follow. I don't always have time or take time to write a comment. So I'm so sorry. I do watch many of your videos. I'm just bad with leaving comments. I, I will try to be better. I use now, this is the MAC, uh, what is it? MAC concealer that I got. Would I buy this concealer again? No. Okay, more products. Let me talk about more products that I really like. I bought, I bought, I got this mask. This is mud mask, facial detox recovery mask, uh, pH balance, purifying, hydrating, anti-aging, brightening and smoothing. This is for mud masky, I think it's pronounced. This is cruelty free, paraben free and natural ingredients. I really like this mask. I got this in glossy box and I'm really enjoying this mask. So this is something I will probably buy myself. And I also got this in my uh, glossy box this month, the October month. It's not October now. This is uh, November when I'm watching this. But I got this in October box and I really, really like this gel. The only thing that I really don't like about this, it's the packaging, it's see-through and it does get dirty. Uh, we are going over to the foundation and today I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in soft beige. Now I did, like I said in my haul video, record a video using this product and a couple of other products that I'm using in this video today. But for some reason my camera stopped filming and I didn't notice that. Uh, I also got this organic uh, energy boosting gel moisturizer that I've used a couple of times uh, in my glossy box last month, I think, and I do like it. I like this moisturizer. And I also like the sponge that I bought from Rebecca Stella, the black one. Now the problem is that I did wet it and I did want to use it in this video but for some reason I can't find it anywhere I don't know where I put it so I'm going to use my beauty blender but I really really like that sponge the black one so, nice foundation I really like this I'm planning on doing a video with my twin sister so if you want to ask us a question put the question down below so I can answer them or uh, if you have an idea what video we can do together because I do really want to do another video with her. This is a NARS concealer. This is Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS in shade Vanilla. This is my favorite concealer. Something I'm definitely going to buy again. And it is expensive. But I really, really want to try the Tarte one. Tarte shape or what it's called, I don't know. Uh, but the shipping is so expensive and not only the shipping but the taxes that I have to pay when I receive the product I would love to try that everyone loves it I don't know if I heard anyone on the YouTube and I watch a lot of videos not liking that concealer but I don't know what shade I would order also really don't know what do you think what shade would be good for me I have uh, this vanilla in NARS, so if you know one of the shades that is similar to this one that will work for me, please let me know down below because I want to order it. Okay, I will set this concealer and my foundation with the Airspun powder. I really like this powder and I also ordered one for my sister. I want, wanted her to try it because I loved it. 
and I'm going to set my eyeshadow primer also with this powder I want to ask you guys what do you want to see me doing on my channel uh, what kind of videos do you want to do see more makeup looks or you want to see more of uh, me trying some products or what kind of products you want to see I want to ask you what you're interested in seeing so this is something I'm definitely going to repurchase okay then I'm going to use this beautiful bl brush again for my bronzer and today I'm going to use this wet and wild color icon in tickle a ticket to Brazil this is uh, I think one of my favorites I love this. I almost hit the pan. Also something I'm going to buy again. Before YouTube, I have to be honest, before YouTube I never, never used a bronzer in my life. I know, it's weird. I don't know why, I was afraid that it would look like a disaster on my skin and I heard so many people talking about, oh it has to be a good undertone it's not it's not supposed to be too orange uh, not too much bronzer and I was kind of afraid to be judged and maybe use the wrong bronzer and people will look at me stare at me and laugh at me when I started doing YouTube I became more sure what I really want and what I enjoy and also try to step outside my comfort comfort zone and bought a lot of product that I've tried and light and right now I can't imagine me doing makeup without a bronzer that's a funny thing a year ago I never used a bronzer and a year after I have like 20 different bronzers for the blush I'm going to use this one on my channel today this is a Kardashian Beauty Radiant Ombre blush I really don't know what shade this is 514 I think Ombre Vibe 514 it says here look how beautiful that is it has a nice shine and I really like this blush today I'm going to use this caramel uh, melange Zoeva palette that I got from my husband for my birthday really like this palette I've used it a couple of times and I really like it okay I'm going to use this universal delight I think this shade here all over my eyelid and in my crease just to set the eyeshadow primer but also to make other eyeshadows blend easier then I'm going to use this start start soft this one in my crease look how easy these shades are to blend and I watch a couple of my old videos the first video that I put on my channel and I love makeup and let me say I wasn't good or with makeup before but right now after using makeup every day and trying new eyeshadows and trying new products and doing my makeup maybe two sometimes two times a day when I filmed or tried something, some new product, I became very good putting makeup and doing my eye looks, eyeshadow looks. I'm better using brushes, I'm better with blending, I'm better with the details. Take going to take this shade also in my crease, but not go as high as, high as I did before. So I need to work with creating the strange looks the looks for Halloween I'm really not good with doing Halloween videos and I know you don't have to go like crazy and do something major but <laughs> I couldn't do anything I'm going to use this white shade in the palette under my eyebrows I'm going to use this dark shade now it has some shimmer in it really like that shade but the problem is when you blend the shade eyeshadow the shimmer disappears so we're going to press it and I want to try to do some uh, vlogging videos but I don't have a good camera and I tried to film a couple of um, 
vlogging videos with my iPhone and it didn't turn out good. I don't know what I did wrong. I just didn't like what I filmed so I never put it. So I didn't put those videos up on my channel but I really want to try to do that more. Maybe in 2018 more vlogging. I don't know. But of course makeup. Makeup is my passion. Makeup is something that makes me feel good about myself. It makes me feel good. I know people, some people told me, some of my friends, they don't use makeup. They said, why I use makeup? Why I don't like myself for how I look? And I told them, this is me. This is me. I love myself. And I love makeup. And this is me. So I want to show people who I am and my personality. And this is my personality. This is what I enjoy, this is what I like. Just because I wear makeup, th that I want to be somebody else. I use makeup because that's me. That's who I am. So for me, when someone told, tells me, oh, I love myself, I want to be myself, I will never use makeup. That's good, <laughs> don't use it if you don't like it. That's you, but me, I'm a makeup girl and I love makeup and this is me. So I don't try to be somebody else. <laughs> I'm trying to express myself. I will try to show who I am. And that's very important for me. Okay, I'm going to use this shimmer shade, this uh, gold one in here. And I'm going to use my fingers because I love using shimmer shades with my fingers. And you all know that, my old subscribers. Look at this shade. And I'm going to take this darker shade again with my finger and uh, just press my finger in it. and press here, blend the, those shades together a little bit more. This video is so long. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'm going to take the first one that we had all over my eyes. And then I'm going in this shade, this one. I have to tell you guys, I always buy every limited edition box from Glossy Box. And they ca came out for the first time with a calendar and I was so excited. And I was at work when it was released and it was sold out in a couple of minutes. I think it was five or six minutes. I didn't succeed of ordering it. And I'm very sad because I was looking forward and I was expecting expecting that and I'm very sad that I didn't put my hands on that box but I am going to buy the limited edition the Christmas limited edition I always do that but I'm very sad that I didn't have time and didn't succeed to order the calendar I took this darker shade that we had up here and blend halfway let me continue talking with the product that didn't work for me uh, I got this I think months ago in the glossy box wake up under eye patches anatomicals i think they are called and i hated them they didn't do anything for my under eyes i almost forgot i'm going to use this smooth crayons from linda halber love these oh she came out with metallic shades and i really really want them i'm going to use the yellow one on my um, waterline And the mascara I really, really enjoy is this from L'Oreal. This is Par Paradise Ecstatic. I bought three of these. For, I gave one to my sister, one for me, and the third one for the giveaway, future giveaway. I love this mascara. It does transfer on my uh, lower, under my lower lash line after a couple of hour hours, but it's not bad. Okay, we are going uh, to take this, my favorite highlighter for the fall in, and the winter. It's Midnight Sun from Makeup Geek. I really love Makeup Geek. I wish I had money to order all of their products. Marlena did an amazing job with her products and I really love the eyeshadows. This highlighter, oh, look how beautiful this is, this one is. It's like this gold champagne color, beautiful for the fall. So I didn't reach for this during the summer as much as I do now. 
Okay, then we are going to try something that I got four months ago. I didn't even open it. This is the lip junk, lip paint kit gloss from Models Own. I think I got this, and this is in shade Wicked. It's kind of dark. Hope you can see it. I got this when I ordered this um, set, Holochrome set. Use the tray and brush the mixed colors and stick on this bold paint for a look that's 50 shades of play. This kit contains one lip junk glossy lip paint, lip brush and mixing tray. Okay, we have a nice cute brush. Look how cute this is. Oi, right, and uh, trade. And okay, let's try it. Ooh, we'll put a little bit of in this. Not too much. Mix colors. Now I don't have other colors. Should I mix this with something more? I don't have colors. I don't have other shades, so we are going just to try this shade out. But if I like it, I will definitely maybe purchase others. I'm going to use this lip pen from uh, Flormar. Okay, let's take this pencil and uh, take this shade. Unfortunately, I only have this shade. Oh. I showed this product in my in that haul video. Models on haul video. And I never had the chance to try it, so. The shade doesn't go with the makeup look, but this is a beautiful shade and I used just a little bit of it, so this is too much really like this we'll see how this will wear on my lips i'm really curious the urban decay has the new eyeshadow palette the old metallics i think i'm not really interested in in that palette they're coming out with the lipstick palette and that palette i'm very interested in i hope it comes to sweden because i really really want to get that palette uh, the reason why the shades look beautiful or matte and matte and metallic shades and the other reason why I really in, am interested in that lipstick palette is uh, beautiful shades. It looks so nice to travel with and take with me in my purse because I have like five or six, seven different lipsticks every time in every purse that I have. And it's kind of hard for me to dig in the purse and look for that lipstick. And I don't find that lipstick that I thought that I had in that purse that palette would be great for me to take with me to work or everywhere it's still not available in sweden not even the eyeshadow palette so i hope it will come if not that will make me very sad but sometimes like this peach two faced the new two faced peach collection the foundation the primer and I, that matte eyeshadow palette didn't came to sweden and it's not going to be here in sweden i already asked the sephora and it's not even possible for me to order online so I'm very sad I'm very sad I bought this months ago this is the slay all day setting spray and in cucumber I really like the mist it does uh, keep my makeup in place but I have one problem with this right now it feels like I have mint on my skin and it kind of irritates my eyes a little bit I don't know if that's the alcohol, SD alcohol in this product or what it is. I will probably buy another one, not the cucumber, but the other, maybe the peach or something else and see if that is feeling better on my eyes because I like the product. It, the smell is nice, but it's kind of a little bit too strong for my eyes. That was everything uh, that I wanted to share with you today. This video is so long. Thank you so much for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Please leave comments down below what kind of videos you want to, me to do. I really like this fall makeup look. Now the lipstick and uh, the eyeshadows don't go together. But it's a nice makeup look after all. I do like it. I do like this lip product. It feels so nice and soft and looks beautiful on my lips. That was everything I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you already haven't and see you in my next video. Bye!